Hey everybody, just want to give you a bit of my product review or my impressions on the Wahoo Fitness iPhone adapter app. Now I've been using it for a number of months, coming back from injury and starting marathon training. So I just want to give you my opinions of the iPhone app and how I use the device. So basically my setup was using my Garmin Forerunner, using the Wahoo adapter, iPhone 4, and the heart rate strap. You can use Garmin or the provided Wahoo Fitness. I'm using Garmin because I want to keep the Wahoo uh, strap uh, pristine right now. Uh, basically, you know what, it, it's pretty nice compared to the similar app, I'm going to compare it directly to the Garmin Fit. This provides a lot more options in terms of the type of workout that you're doing, biking or running, choose running here. And in terms of our settings, really good because basically if you're coming back from injury and you're probably going to do some treadmill running for a while, you don't need GPS, you just need, for example, heart rate monitor and, and track that. The one of the things that I really love about this app is the triggers and actions right here. One of the things that I don't like about, for example, Garmin Fit is there's no audible alerts. If you're like me, the iPhone is in a pouch, pocket, somewhere that you're not going to see it. So if you have your headphones on listening to music, you want audible alerts to say that you're coming in and out of a heart rate zone, you've just completed a lap, you just did a mile, you have so many minutes left in your workout this you can do this you can customize the wazoo out of this this is awesome i, I love i like this aspect of it it's if you're doing inside training if you're outside again you get the gps you know will give you some estimate of the distance uh you have your display screens you have a whole bunch of different display screens here i'm just interested in heart rate training so i have that turned on the running data fields i have turned off uh, basically, the reason for that is uh, when I was recovering from injury, I was just using the heart rate strap and just making sure I was in the zone, pacing myself. I wasn't interested in uh, the running data fields, and plus I didn't have my foot pod, so I couldn't record that data. But you can see here that, you know, it, you see the important fields uh, in big, bold letters. The display is not, you know, the overall design is not as sharp as... Garmin or Nike Plus, but it does get, it's easy to, to find the information. The only thing I found different is that because I do heart rate training the Garmin way, the zones here for Wahoo is, doesn't quite match up, so I have to basically learn a new numbering system for what zone 3 is. But other than that, you know, when you look at the number for me, that's fine. Now in terms of music, you get here, and it's pretty basic, same way you do with uh, Garmin or Nike basically have your songs I would recommend you set up your playlists first and then choose which songs you want to get so overall you know the music player is fine I have no problem with it but the real feature that I love the most this is what's worth the money is the ability to transfer activity from the Garmin to the unit and then I can upload it so for example here these are all workouts that I've transferred from the Garmin watch. In fact, the very top option has import from Garmin. And that will import from the 310, 610, and probably the 910. And this is great because as soon as I'm done my run, I can import the data as I'm stretching. And I also can share it to all these other social running sites. Nike Plus, Garmin Connect, Run Keeper. You know, there's other sites. Yeah, sure. There's Strava, Met My Fitness, Training Peaks, Ride with GPS. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. Daily Mile, even. So, uh, if you're the type that want to share or at least log your data from your GPS, and so this is awesome. Um, this totally changes. I don't have to hook this up to my computer anymore. I can just make sure I keep the dongle with me. The only problem is. I'm going to lose this at some point. You know, I'll put it in one of my pockets or pouches when I'm out running. I would like to have some sort of little keychain adapter or something. I'm, I might have to MacGyver something uh, to uh, keep this on me because I know I'm going to lose this at some point um, because it's so small and light. Uh, but, you know, it's great. You're doing a run and let's say you're, you're out with the run club and you're chilling like with a coffee or a smoothie afterwards. 
you can plug this in, transfer your workout, upload it to the site, done. You don't have to worry about it when you get home. So when I'm going to do my uh, marathon uh, later in the fall, I'll be able to you know upload this as soon as I'm done, let people know how I did and all that. So overall, I think this product is a very good product, way better than what Garmin Fit is doing right now. Just the fact that you can talk to other devices and the amount of sharing you can do. I think it's fantastic. Anyway, add in your comments or add your comments in the description below. Let me know uh, what your experiences are with uh, the Wahoo and uh, we'll see you next time.